It is what it is, people. Welcome to A Walk with Mel. And today we are so honored to have the legendary popping Pete in the building. We took a walk all the way to Korea to meet up with the with the main man. And so we're so honored to have you on the show today. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's my honor to be here. Awesome. Down. Awesome. Down. Awesome stuff. And I mean, you've been dancing for many years. You started yeah. way back. So yeah. please just give us an introduction of how things started for you. Well, um... You know, of course, I've been dancing all my life. Yeah. You know, of course, that's most uh, <laughs> uh, people growing up, you know, in, in black. I'm just saying like that. But not, I'm not going to just say, you know, be exclusive to that. But, yeah. you know, this is where, you know, uh, being, um, you know, a, a, around a artistic family mm. and, and, you know, music and, and all this all the time. Uh, dancing and, and music was always in the mm. house, you know. It was six siblings and we would, um, of course, have these competitions okay. in the house <laughs> and or when when uh, our aunt or our grandmother or our uncles would come you know they say performance, hey, should, performance. Yeah. you gotta perform Concept. you know where, where you gotta you know even if it's just for a dollar you know even trying to get <laughs> to trying to, you know trying to win that money but you know um i started of course professionally yeah. i started at 16 16 okay. years old when the first time um I was uh, introduced and, and to popping from mm -hmm. my brother, Boogaloo Sam, who mm -hmm. showed me this style. And we formulated a group uh, called uh, Electric Boogaloo's. Mm -hmm. And uh, 1978 is when I, I started out oh. uh, uh, performing professionally, being on television, sure. traveling around. Uh, it, you know, like I said, it was a it, it was it was great. Mm -hmm. But but like I said, prior to that, it's just the fact that. It was always there. It was always mm. there. You, you know? were almost born into it. Yes, and, and you know, because my mom, you know, every time I mean, she would clean up the, mm -hmm. the, the, the home. That's the same uh, with us. Yeah, when you clean yeah, up. The yes, music. the music is on, and she's <laughs> and she's vacuuming and, and and dusting to to music in rhythm. So seeing all ah. this, you know, it, it 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 became a natural thing. Just you know, and I wanted to yeah. I wanted to dance. Mm -hmm. I wanted to move. So, mm -hmm. uh, and then again, um, that's pretty much at sixteen. Yeah, we um, uh, made this group. Got, got discovered by this, this uh -huh. guy and then uh, you know the rest was is history and doing what we do but 16 was when I became wow, a professional wow. dancer and then you named Popping Pete how yeah. did you get that well that that's name? the weirdest thing because <laughs> see my real name is Timothy Earl Solomon mm -hmm. I was always uh, when I was young um, my name my nickname was Peter Gunn okay Peter Gunn is uh, a television character that uh, was in the late 60s or or somewhere like that mm -hmm. but my mom said when i was like two years old every time this the, the television show came on it was a he was a detective mm -hmm. and it, the, the theme song was and every time i would hear that i would i would actually she said i would take my little cap guns oh, and man. go to the tv if he shoot at someone and i would i would shoot so everyone said he loved that show peter gunn and they used to start they start calling me ah. peter gunn so that was my and and even when I, you know, was started being conscious of mm -hmm. of like hearing it, I would hear this name and that's what I would answer to. My mom uh. would would say, "Peter Gunn, get in the house." When I was young, <laughs> then they then and they cut like off the gun. You. Yeah, and they cut off the gun. And they start calling me Peter. So everybody in the neighborhood, everybody, <laughs> only people at school would know yeah. me as Timothy. Or my mom would, if I'm really in trouble, Timothy. You know. Then I know. Then you know. You know it's really really serious. So. <laughs> Um, now, fast forward to yeah, when yeah, I got yeah. my dance, uh, um, started popping. Mm -hmm. Everybody back then had a dance name. Yeah. You know, Boogaloo Sam, yeah. Ticking Wheel, uh, Scarecrow This, Ticking Boogaloo Popping, whatever. <laughs> it was a name. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah. you got that's that. It's almost like uh, naming yourself like a superhero. You gotta uh, find you gotta find that that badge of honor yeah. that name. So, I uh, so I started you know looking like yeah. the, uh, writing. I was in I was in the I think I was in the. 10th grade yeah and i started writing down names mm -hmm. like trying to come combination yeah popping because i knew i was going to, yeah i, I love the style popping popping you know, yeah. I can, you know boogaloo ticking all these different yeah. styles but i gravitated to yeah. that one particular style so i started saying popping now p-o-p-p-i-n-g yeah that's how i first okay. so i said popping timothy See, that's what no, I'm like. See, that's it. See, that's what happened. See, I even laughed when I, when I wrote that no. down. I said, Pop in Timothy. Uh, Pop in Tim. No. no. <laughs> then I said, well, I'm going to use my my uh, my nickname, yeah. uh, play name, Peter. 
Popping Peter. And mm-hmm. I went like that. I erased that. I said, Popping Peter. Peter? It's like Peter I was Pan. like, what the heck? <laughs> and it was like, you know, because yeah. imagine if some, you know, you, uh, I'm out, if I had used that name, some some uh, person yeah. calling me on stage or introduced me, and ladies and gentlemen, come to the stage, Popping Peter. Peter. Like, yeah, well, like, that, ain't, that, that has no, no kind of fun, hard cool. coordinates. No. So, no coolness. <laughs> so I said, I remember saying, uh, writing, I wrote, Popping mm-hmm. Pete. And I paused. Yeah. And I got I got chills. Yeah. I got I was like <gasps> giving yourself chills. <laughs> so I went, Pop and Pete. Pop and Pete. So I, I I was at school and I yeah. came home and I, and I said to Sam, I watched this, I said, I got a name, I got my name. He said, What what? Pop and Pete. Pete. And he paused, he went, Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> because no one was used to call I me, mean, they wasn't used to me saying Pete. Yeah. Oh. He was not and then when people started saying Pop and Pete, it was just people my my family would go. Pop and Pete. Yeah. You're yeah. Peter. Uh, like, why would you? Pete? Okay. You're not a Pete. You're Pete. Peter. Just Peter. Yeah. Yeah. No one would call you Pete. Oh so, no way. So that's that's how I pretty much. And then I started changing mm-hmm. the the spelling. Okay. So I, I went from popping, which is a P O P P I G, yeah. is the original way you yeah. spell it. It's not P O P P I N. Yeah. So when I went to P O P O P I N, it was P O P apostrophe I N. So actually, you you say my name, Pop. In P. Okay. You have to pop, pop in. Pop in P because P. the pop is in it's me. In, oh, so that's a, kilo. <laughs> that's dope. That's the whole thing. That's why, I, that you know, when dope. I started defining what I, my name mm-hmm. and trying to figure it out, I'm just a 16 year old kid so going, cool. oh yeah, see, the pop is in me. Yeah, the pop is in me. So pop in P. So what? Every time I say to somebody, hey, they say, man, what? you know, my name, your name. Yeah. Pop in P. They go, thank you. Pop, they go, Pop and Pete. I say no, 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 no. no, no. Too fast. <laughs> hey. Pop and Pete. So that's how well, I became that's and became that's pop and Pop and Pete. That's dope. Let's talk about Electric Blues. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. you guys doing so so much amazing things. Mm-hmm. You obviously didn't um, plan to to do no. to do all of these things. Mm-hmm. And I remember in the workshop the other day, you spoke to a guy. He said you're just starting out, and will he ever be as good as you? Mm-hmm. And then you stood up and you said, you know what? I wasn't as good. Right. And even for me, I was like, that's impossible. Right. You know. Yeah. Um, so if you can just share um, what you said, also like. How, well, how how things started for you when you danced and for electric boogaloo, mm, the styles that you right. guys also do. Yeah. Well, you know, just like uh, any new style that you see or, you know, and you, you don't know how to do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, people people think it's because who I am now after yeah. 39 years, they go, oh, man, you, 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 oh, you dope. Yeah. Let's rewind it. Mm. And I said, I asked everyone. How were you, or when you first started yeah. doing any study seminar, I didn't know what I had to learn. I said, you exactly. think that's, uh, you know, we're the same. You're just human. Yeah, we're <laughs> human. So I struggled with learning these techniques, yeah. you know, because it was learning the technique, learning the uh, the timing, yes. learning the movement, learning the feeling, learn all the stuff that I had yeah. to, to, you know, to put into my soul mm-hmm. and uh, and grow with it. Mm-hmm. So I had to practice. It's consistency constant. as well. Oh, man, it was, for me, it was every day I would practice just doing this, sure. just doing this from, even if I was at the uh, store with my mom, what? or at the bank, or going to school, or any of that, I would practice my my popping, the sure. technique, sure. not even yet knowing how to formulate a, the dance yes. of it to be just grooming, getting the popping, just getting the, the, popping, getting the yeah. technique pop of it. Um, and and I, I wasn't good, wow. you know. And, and even when I did, we did Soul Train in 1979, mm-hmm. I, had, I, I had only been uh, popping for nine months what even on that clip like everyone on there other than sam had only been popping oh, for, for n- about yeah. not eight to nine months because he obviously trained you guys yeah we, yeah, we, yeah. And, and 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 looking back at stuff like that and i say you know people say oh man that that way you guys well that's the yeah. original way i say but that's the learning way sure. that was a play we were still it was a blueprint it was just sure. learning how to how to navigate and, and understand and like you said you guys didn't have mirrors or video mm, clips no no you guys had to just like you said you had to watch and, yeah. and, and do and, and do what you and, and and then try to remember what it was that you uh that sam was showing sure. you or if you did something you try to remember someone say man that move you did so but again we wasn't you know it wasn't wow. it wasn't a thing like but it's I so had cool it it's so cool because consistency it shows i mean to all dancers and everyone right. around the world that i mean you basically live in testimony that it works if you right. just keep on practicing Come you in. become better because yeah. now you're like a machine everyone is like when you dance, yeah, you yeah. know, and let's talk about um, breaking. You've done the movie Breaking. Yeah, right. Let's talk about mm. uh, um, um, what that experience was like for you. Well, you know, Breaking was this uh, okay, the movie that, um, and I wasn't originally wasn't a part of the movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I was when they cast for the movie. I was over. I was in uh, London, mm-hmm. 
and uh, what it was writing, it was 1983. I came back and we came back in 83. 84 came and I started, they, they started filming, actually mm -hmm. filming the movie. And I think they were not halfway through the movie, but they, um, someone told me that they wrote yeah. our character that I wow. ended up playing into the movie because they needed Turbo and Ozone to have a rival. Okay. Actually, um, Papa Taco was already doing the movie, but okay. he was doing the movie and I think in a, in, in a, uh, as maybe on their team at some at okay. some point. So um, I got a call actually mm -hmm. uh, uh, from from Shabadoo or mm -hmm. and they and said, uh, "Hey, we you know they want you to come in because mm -hmm. they we, they got a part for you and this mm -hmm. and then I'm." Like, like wait wait really wow so, so it just happened like that yeah yeah like no no i was just at home i didn't you know i heard about the you know you know the, the people yeah. doing the movie and everybody wow. i knew who was in the movie you know i was like you know happy for them so when they wrote us wrote this part in they said we had speaking lines and we're mm -hmm. going to be the the dance rival so mm -hmm. i i was wow, living in fresno so then cool. i went to la and then you know it was cool you know I, for me but it, what, what a lot of people don't understand about the movie for me yeah it, it wasn't as realistic as because mm -hmm. we never spoke like that we never dressed like that oh you know? i get what you say so a lot of a lot of the authenticity of what we did in, what uh, actually what we, happened what, out what, and how, wasn't you know wow. yes the battles and all that stuff you see yeah that that all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff happened mm -hmm. but for me it was the dialogue and clothes uh, so when i because I, I had a i, I had many debates or arguments with yeah. them and, and saying, hey man, I don't talk like this. I don't, why y'all writing this? So, <laughs> so I, a lot of stuff in there, I, I lived, yeah. you know, because, you know, I wouldn't be saying, uh, bring your girlfriend to answer if you need a shoulder to cry on. That's not a That's not a how, you, how you, you know, roll. That's how I roll. Because I would, I would say it a little bit more like, now bring your mm, mm, and then we can get that. I bet she going to watch you get your mm, we, <laughs> West Coast represent. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't going to be all that happy, happy, happy yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah really. if you look back at back then, the dancing back then mm. and the dancing now, what mm. would you want to bring back if you could? Um, well, you know. There's obviously a big difference to how things Well, it, you know what? You know, it, it's, it's, uh. It's a little, it's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's like a big so difference. The only thing that's, it's more dancers now, of course. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the difference, I'll say, not having the social media, not having mm. YouTube, not having things that you can just rewind and look back. True. You know, I, I came in when there was, you know, uh, no uh, repeat of anything. Sure. You know, no rerun of nothing. Soul Train, none of that. We was on Soul Train in 1979. I, it, I didn't repeat until uh, dang near 25 years later. Wow. I seen the seen the, uh, the 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 show again. So for me, it was more people were were discovering mm. more better because then you had to remember or come off the top of the head with with stuff. If you see somebody, yes. you appreciate what they did. Yes. And you try to say like, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a move. I'm gonna go practice. Yeah. Now people just see they they get caught up into if you if you win a battle mm -hmm. of that person, people want to be that like that person because uh, okay. they figure they use that as uh, oh, if they won with that. I'm gonna use that same thing. Maybe uh, I can win with that. Back back then, you did the style, mm -hmm. you did the technique, mm -hmm. and you just you bloom from the fact that you're trying to come up with your own moves yeah. not your own style i get what you, you know say. so okay. for me that's that's the that's the uh you know so and it's still thinking. around yeah but back then you it was, more, it was the only was that's the only thing it's forced i yeah, say that no was choice. it you had no choice <laughs> and of all the things that you've done i mean you've done a, a lot of things and this mm. might be difficult can you mention maybe three of the highlights or or, or good moments that you can mention well and one like million <laughs> no no one is of course when i first learned uh, learned this dance style uh -huh. because without learning this dance style, I, I, I i wouldn't be able to be in Korea. I wouldn't sure. be able to be on the on Soul Train. I wouldn't be able to, to meet so Michael Jackson cool. and all this. So you, I always, because you know, and this question has been asked of me mm -hmm. many times, and people say, "Man, what's your highlights? Was yeah. it Michael Jackson? Was I said, dude, it, it, was, this, it, was, it was it was it was this it was wow. this learning this dance style because without that, I had Nothing there's else. no path and no road to any True of that. Story. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's where the story begins. So I always say it's when I first learned this dance mm -hmm. that. Uh, gave me the opportunity. That's what I always say. Mm -hmm. What get, what giving you the opportunity? Now, someone someone said, "Well, this guy gave me, you know, uh, uh, gave me the opportunity. He put me on the show." I said, "Why did he put you on Thank the show?" You. They go, "Oh yeah, yeah, because you you get something where you that, come from. Yeah, yeah, you get, yeah never forget where you come from. What started mm -hmm. you and what what you know what mm -hmm. gave you the reason? But mm -hmm. if you you know, in the terms of um, uh, you know, performances or stuff, mm -hmm. I'll say, I mean, the second one would be." Uh, our, our first uh, time we was on stage uh, in Lake Tahoe in 19, 
78. So, yeah, getting getting a standing ovation, wow. and you know, and, and and like wow, and then, you know, like people actually you didn't standing realize, up for a yeah. uh, and these were and this wasn't even and we were performing in a show where this wasn't uh, geared towards hip hop oh, or street I get what dancing. You these were you grown people in a casino, yet. yeah, <laughs> that were drunk or whatever. Yeah. Wow, and then Michael Jackson, you just mentioned, what was it like yeah. working with him? Yeah, it was great. You know, it was one of those experiences that you know. And I don't remember saying to to people, uh, one day I'm going to work with Michael Jackson. You really said that? Yeah, but not really. But, you know, yeah. you just, you're, you're on the block. You're just saying because everybody thinks because you're in the entertainment that you <laughs> that you know Michael Jackson automatically. No. Or you think you're going. <laughs> but that was just something that everybody's, you know, people would say. You would say, hoping, yeah. Yeah, you're hopeful. You know, because, yeah. you know, he was he was the man at that point. You know, this is. Mm -hmm. So when I actually got to work with him. That's amazing. It was, uh, it was a great experience. Because mm -hmm. it was, uh, because all the stuff you hear about him. And then we actually, when I actually met him, and at, at the first time I met him, mm -hmm. we I went to to the family home because yeah. he have he didn't have Neverland. It was he was living at Neverland mm -hmm. uh, at this point. He was still at the his family home, and we sat in the room mm -hmm. and talked. He didn't, we didn't practice and dance. Wow. He just wanted to talk, and he talked a lot. He he was a talker. He actually beat you. Yeah, he beat he actually me. <laughs> I even I even asked him. I said, "Hey, Mike." You talk a lot. What? I said that to him, what? and he's like, "I love." He he loved oh, to to speak. Man. He loved he loved uh, interacting with people, probably. interacting and, yeah. he, and he and, and getting knowledge and, wow. and, and being being uh, you know just just filling himself up with with mm -hmm. stories. And mm -hmm. he said, "Tell me how did you how did you start? How do you do this?" Wow. So yeah, that's amazing. And I was saying, like you talk a lot. That's amazing. And then obviously, what keeps you motivated every day to do this style and do what you do the every love. day? Because you travel everywhere and you keep on going. You <clears> always <throat> just get better. How? What keeps you motivated? Um, just the, just the, the the love and aspect of the, the dance. You mm -hmm. know, it's not about fame for me. Because mm -hmm. I never, you know, I never got into this to to be famous. It wasn't. Oh man, you know, it it became a career for me. Yeah. Because you know, I, I, I make money, mm -hmm. I take care of my family. It's a job. Sure. Mm. But it's a job that. The reason why I, I get up because I love what I do. Mm -hmm. now, I know it's a cliche. Mm -hmm. People say, "Oh man, look, no." I just love the aspect of this, you know, of movement and mm -hmm. creating. You know, because mm -hmm. it's like it's like you know, uh, artists who paint and all this, yeah. and they 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 people they love creating mm -hmm. something from from nothing. Yes, you know, that it's like that canvas. So for me, I, I love to create the. Uh, my my body is the is the paintbrush mm -hmm. and the dance floor is the ah, canvas. Man. So that's that's how I always do it. You're on it. point with these with these oh. comparisons. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the other day your medical said is about the the cake as well. I mean, if you can just share for to the viewers listening about the cake and the different flavors. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, because a lot of times you know um, people you know want to know like you know uh, they have their own this and own own styles yeah. and this and that. So I always relate. It's two things how I do. I either say you got to learn the foundation of any dance style, mm -hmm. and you can you can build a building. Now yes. you can say that's the thing. You have to have a foundation, and then every building is different. Yeah. You know, as a as a uh, if you're an architect. Yes. Now if you're a baker and you're baking a cake, there's there's and if it's if it's just four like white cake, just the bread yeah. come out of the oven. Now you have the ability, that's the base. Then you have flavors, which you can have, you, know, you can put on frosting, you can put uh, a chocolate, uh, a lemon, <laughs> uh, strawberry. And even though it's called a cake, mm -hmm. which is the base mm -hmm. dance, say it's a dance style, mm -hmm. but you put your own flavor on, on what it is. Mm -hmm. So everybody has the ability to create uh, and have their own way into in, in something. Now I'm not recreating a technique because mm. you once you recreate recreate a technique, that means you create re, that you created a style. Yeah. When you when you use a technique that is already there, you know some people uh, can do their hands like yeah. this. Some people can do their hands like this. Some people do. But this makes it. If you say, oh, I just do this, yes. that makes it yours. But yeah. the technique of doing this it stays the same. It stays the same. Foundation stays, stays the same. The foundation stays the same. The flavor. Uh, you make it, uh, your, own you make it your own flavor. You love it, man. Yeah. And speaking about dancing, I mean, you just the last few questions. When you judge at events, mm. I mean, you judge all over the world. Mm. What do you look at at a dancer? Like, what's important for you as um, a dancer? Foundation. Mm -hmm. Foundation of whatever style you're doing. Yeah. Then in that foundation, which all everything I say is it, it, it coincides and it, it, it becomes one mm -hmm. creation. Uh, uh, I mean, foundation, creation, feeling. You know, stuff like that. Where yeah. where. 
you, people can recognize what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Say, oh, you're popping. Oh, that's the, the yes. technique. Then out of the technique, there is there is improvisational imagination mm -hmm. where you you're taking like you plant a a, a seed uh, and you know and again yeah. you can plant the same seed in the same soil for you know <laughs> four seeds. Each one of those seeds of the same plant is gonna grow, mm. but they're gonna grow different. Yes. They're gonna the branches gonna come out. It's gonna be this way. Some are gonna you know it's gonna be this. Leaves gonna be like this. So, I look for people <laughs> to to have self creation mm. in what they do. So, but under that is still that I know it's that plant. I, yeah. Oh, it's four different plants. I know what they're called. But I, I actually, no, he came out. You always come up with something new. I think oh, you should yeah. write a book. Oh, I, oh that, quotes, I am. With all your quotes and just keep it because I might bite it and just make a sentence and say it's mine. <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> no, that's what I, actually, that's in the you works. Really, that's in the works. That's you in the works. really just, just I, I, I mean, you always have something new to explain to make it easy for people to understand. And that's how I learned I, because everything uh, for me had to become um, uh, simplified. Yes. You know, because like I say, once you start understanding what you do, and and because a lot of people do the dance yeah. and do this and they do it off of like people showing them mm. but there are some people don't know how to explain yes. and then but even though they're good but you can be better if you understand, understand. what you're doing knowledge is power oh knowledge, knowledge is, is power. power any advice to the young ones watching out there oh man just stay stay true to uh what you believe stay passionate um mm -hmm. you know stay drama free yes uh <laughs> the, the the thing that that you know when you training or when you in any dance style train mm -hmm. train yourself you know become uh, uh what what you are if you want mm -hmm. if you're a dancer become that you know but you got whether you know either in music you got to know music get mm -hmm. all this so work hard mm -hmm. you know don't overwork mm -hmm. work hard on on your craft man and, sure. and you know you can achieve anything mm -hmm. Love and, it, and then you know take your time Take you gotta you gotta crawl before you walk, and you gotta uh, uh, walk before you run. Yeah, I love it. Love it. You say that because sometimes you push your like for me also. I'm impatient. You want to get there already. But oh I yeah, mean, yeah. Each journey is different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, each you know, is different. Yeah. it's an instant. It's an instant uh, kind of thing. Everybody because you push a button now, you can instantly become <laughs> popular. Where oh know. yeah, nowadays it's like yeah. just boom. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. a lot of followers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Popular yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, it doesn't work like but that. But it's all good. <laughs> Believe that. Yeah. Then if people want to book you. Um, how does that work? And oh, social just, uh, media that you want to share? Uh, well, you know, uh, Pop Peter, you know, Facebook uh, all day. P O all day. P O P I N P E T E. Very important. It's only Pop. one P in Pop. my name. Pop and Pete. Uh, you can hit me uh, also on my um, my uh, email, poppingpete at gmail dot com. And all that good stuff. So awesome. I'm not giving you my telephone number. No, then y'all no, be calling me no, all day and you don't need texting that me and all that. What you doing? <laughs> uh, can you help me out? No, it doesn't work like that. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for always staying humble. Even though your technique is on this level and your and your dancing is on such a great level, that set is that you made again where you, you say you respect that more and that is what I see in you, that you're always humble even though you are on this. Uh, on because this I don't I don't look at myself as on any level. I look at mm -hmm. myself as a dancer. That's I'm not the thing. a I'm not a I'm You don't not, feel that you're better than no, anyone I'm not, else. I never yeah. call myself a legend. Mm -hmm. I never call I don't I, I'm the same as anyone else mm -hmm. and I, or I'm that person that if you say I wanna be like or get to if you want to follow me on that kind of thing mm -hmm. of the work ethic that yes. I do, fine. But trying to be, I'm not that person that's like, oh, I'm a star. I'm yeah. on that. That it, it comes with the territory. If that's what people put, or status they mm -hmm. put you on, that's 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 up to them. Mm -hmm. But for me, I don't I don't walk around like this. Uh, yeah. I'm not that. For mm -hmm. me, I'm just this dancer that does what he does and love what he do. Love it, man. Thank you so much for joining us on the show, Definitely. man. Oh, Sharing man. so much knowledge. That's it from me, Mel. You fell on a good beat. Signing out. All day, That's how day. we do. Yeah, all day. <laughs> all day, every day. Oh, man. That was, that was cool. dope. Thank you, Lupita. Oh, Be the best. Um, <laughs>